before discussing what are the methods to find out HCF, let us see what is HCF. HCF is known as highest common factor or greatest common divisor GCD or greatest common factor GCF. If you see the common word in all these is highest or greatest. So what is HCF? HCF of a set of whole numbers is the largest integer which divides them all. So whenever we take out the prime factorization or whenever any method we follow to find out HCF, we will get a largest integer. So that largest integer should be divisible with this whole numbers. So methods to find out HCF. There are two methods to find HCF. One is Euclid's division algorithm or it is also known as Euclid's division lemma or Euclid's algorithm. And the second method is prime factorization method. Now in case of Euclid's division algorithm, it says that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So if you see this in terms of alphabets, A is equals to B into Q plus R where a and b here are positive integers, they should not be negative, they should be positive and the value of this remainder r should lie between 0 and b. So remainder should be equal to 0 or greater than 0 or it should be less than the divisor b. So if I see dividend, divisor, quotient, remainder, dividend is a, divisor is b, quotient is q and remainder is r. Now let us see the problem based on Euclid's division algorithm. This problem is taken from exercise 1.1 of SERT textbook. And in this problem, it is asking you to find out the HCF of 900 and 270. So we will have two numbers. As we know, it is Euclid's division algorithm. We have to find out the HCF by dividing, right? So one will be dividend and another one will be divisor. So which is dividend and which is divisor? There is one trick. Between these two numbers, 900 and 270, we have to choose the smaller number as my divisor b and the larger number as dividend a. That is why I am choosing the larger number as dividend a is equal to 900 and the smaller number b as divisor that is 270. Now here I have to find HCF of 900 and 270. So here is my divisor and this is my dividend. If I multiply 273 is 810 and 274 is 1080 but 1080 is more than 900. So I will take 273 is 810. 273 is 810. Now, 0 minus 0 is 0, this will become 8, this will become 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. Now this is 90. Now I have to take this dividend, this uh, divisor, sorry, this divisor will become now dividend. So uh, this 270 will look, become here 270, 90, what's are 270? We know 9 3 is 27. So 90 3 is 270. Now 270 minus 270 is 0. So whenever we are getting the remainder as 0, we should stop the division. And the last, last step which I get of the divisor will be my HCF. So here my HCF is 90. We can verify this answer of HCF is 90 by my Euclid's division algorithm which is A is equals to B into Q plus R. So substitute here A is 900, B is 270, Q is 3 plus R is 90. Now in the second step is this, A is 270, B is 90, Q is 3 plus 0. So here also plus 0 is there and that is why I am getting HCF as 90. Now let us see the second method, prime factorization method to find out the HCF. Before finding out the, before saying you what is the method to find out HCF by prime factorization method, let us see what is prime factorization method. Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So whenever we do prime factorization, we should choose prime numbers and when they multiply, they should give me an original number. So here 12 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. 12 is an original number. So when these prime numbers are multiplied, they should give me an original number. That is my prime factorization method. Now let us see a problem based on prime factorization method to find out HCF. So in the question, find HCF of 54 and 12 by using prime factorization method. So I'll find out the prime factorization of 54. I'll find out the prime factorization of 12. 2 2 is a 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. 4, 2 7s are 14, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. Here 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6, 3 1s are 3. So 54 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 and 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. Now when I write the prime factors of 54 and 12, what is HCF is? Tip is HCF is always the common prime factors between these two numbers. If three numbers are there means common prime factors between three numbers. 
If two numbers are there, means common prime factors between those two numbers. So between these two, I have between this one two and this one two, one two is common. So one two I'll take, and again between this fifty four and twelve, one three is common. So I'll take one three. So H C F of fifty four and twelve is between these two one two and between these three one three. So two into three is six. Hope you have understood the methods to find out H C F. If you have any doubt, please comment below and please share with others so that others might benefit and also like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.